O oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Amen. The Lord reigneth, and blessed be the rock, and may the God of our salvation, may the God of our righteousness, may the God of our joy be thou and highly exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. A very good afternoon to all our listeners in Radio Land. You're tuned in live to Crossway Revival Baptist Church under the leadership of Reverend Kamani Genfi. Radio Land this afternoon, you're in the studio with the eminent pastor, Kamani Genfi, and myself, Pastor Karen. People of God, wherever you are strategic, Crossway Revival Baptist Church uh, greets you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, Radio Land, I say to you, prepare your hearts, uh, prepare yourselves uh, to be blessed in a profound way Amen. for what the Lord has provided for you from his throne of grace uh, in the name of Jesus. The world is at a standstill at the moment. Amen. Everyone is in a fearful position where the COVID-19 and the SARS COV-2 is running concurrently. Amen. But I'm here to reassure you through the verdicts of the prophet Isaiah in his writings in chapter 41, verse 10. Amen. The prophet Isaiah said, yeah. Fear not! For I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Radio Land, I say, receive this word, because the word of the Lord is truth. The word of the Lord is life, and it shall come to pass in your lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us begin to pray. In times like these, uh, we need a savior. In times like these, uh, yes. we need an anchor. Yeah. Be very sure, Amen. be very sure. Amen. God's anchors hold Amen. and grips the solid rock. Uh, this rock is Jesus, uh, yeah. he is the one. Uh, this rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, people of God. Be very sure. Because God anchors, holds, and it grips the solid rock. Father Lord, we celebrate you this afternoon. Amen. We give you thanks and we give you praise Amen. for this glorious opportunity Amen. that Crossway Revival Baptist Church, Amen. Father Lord, can go into your vineyard. Amen. Father Lord, and carry forth your gospel uh, for the Lord to souls that are yearning, souls that are lost, uh, souls that are crying out for support from the throne of grace. Uh, for the Lord, we ask that everyone who is tuned in uh, to this broadcast, uh, for the Lord, that you pay them each a divine visitation. Um, for the Lord, whatever is going on in their lives, uh, for the Lord, and they're seeking uh, answers from you, uh, Father Lord, may they meet you during this hour in the name of Jesus. Uh, turn their stories into glory, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father Lord, may they see and they know uh, that Amen. with you all things are possible yes. to them that believe. Uh, believe. Father Lord, our prayer this afternoon, mm. what glory has purposed, Amen. For your children today, yeah. may it come forth mm. in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you thanks and we give you praise uh, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Radio Land, you're tuned in live once again to Crossway Revival Baptist Church uh, here on GN Radio 95.5 uh, FM. We're streaming live from Facebook. Uh, Astra and Eurobird TV across the continent uh, and on the internet around the globe. Uh, 
Please prepare yourselves as the word is about to come forth, which will be preached by the head pastor of Crossway Revival Baptist Church, the eminent pastor, Kamani Gentry. Amen. Pastor, thank you very much Amen. for your prayer and your um, exhortation. Amen. And God bless you. Amen. 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 This afternoon, I want to thank God for our presence here today. It is God who has made it possible for us to come. Amen. So we thank God. And I also want to thank our congregation yes. and also to express our gratitude to uh, our loved ones who are outside there listening to us. Amen. Um, people from the continent, Africa, UK, and so on. Amen. We thank you for your support your prayers and uh, the comments you are giving to us. May God bless you. And I believe that Amen. this afternoon also you will be blessed with this message. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Pastor, this afternoon we want to preach on the theme Repentance provides access to divine provisions. Amen. Repentance provides access to divine provisions. You see, we have a lot of divine provisions for us. God has installed blessings for us. We can talk about God's salvation. Yeah. We can talk about God's protection. Mm. We can talk about God's security. Mm. We can talk about marriage as well. Yeah. We can also talk about prosperity mm. because the God who blesses. Mm -hmm. We can also talk about longevity. Yes. Um, yeah, lo yeah lo longevity. Mm. We can talk about longevity. Long life, Long life. is a blessing mm. to, to us. Mm -hmm. And it is God who gives. Amen. And these are divine provisions available for the child of God. Amen. But one thing I want my audience to know mm -hmm. is that in spite of the fact that God is willing to offer us these blessings without genuine repentance it is difficult for you to receive it. Very true. Even if God decides mm -hmm. to give it to you mm -hmm. You can't even handle. So, the most important step to assess God's provisions mm -hmm. is repentance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know that this message is not popular in our day. Mm. In our day, people want prosperity, people want messages. That in a way bless their heart mm. to them, to them, bless their heart and message that will make them feel good. Mm. So when you mention repentance, mm. it is like you are hitting them. So they become quiet. Mm -hmm. But we can't help it. No. The no. thing is that the message we are preaching here mm. has long term effects My Lord. upon our life. Mm -hmm. There are some messages that, you know, will have short-term blessings upon you on this earth. Mm -hmm. You are getting it on this earth. Yeah. But by God's grace, mm -hmm. we are not looking at the blessing on this earth, but we are looking beyond. Hallelujah. We are looking beyond. Mm -hmm. So if the people outside there will listen to us, mm -hmm. they will see wisdom mm -hmm. of what we are preaching mm -hmm. these days about one month we came here, mm. we have been preaching messages that will have long-term effects Hallelujah. upon the people. Amen. And this afternoon, we are talking about repentance mm. that as a key to have access to the bad provisions. Hallelujah. You see, we don't have to mm. run away from this. Mm. There is no way you can run away. No. Because God doesn't change. Mm. Whatever he ha has said, mm. Is exactly what will come to pass. Amen. And this afternoon, I want to encourage my audience. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage congregation. Mm -hmm. I want to carry my loved ones. Mm -hmm. 
that we also love you. Hallelujah. We are not here to, mm. you know, preach a, a, a message that will send you out. No. But we are, we are telling you messages, we are preaching messages that will help you to be grounded in the word of God. Amen. That no wind mm. can blow you out. Hallelujah. From the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor, let's read Psalm 34, verse 18. Amen. Let us see. Let, let us go there and see what the Bible says. Psalm 34, verse 18. Verse 18. Yeah, Psalm 34, verse 18. Very powerful word over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart mm -hmm. and save such as have a contrite spirit. That's it. Mm -hmm. You see, look at this way. My, I'm reading, my is NFV. He okay. says, yeah, broken heart. Mm -hmm. You know, broken heart. Mm -hmm. And then he also mentioned that he has a, somebody who are crushed in the spirit. My Lord. Somebody who's crushed in the crushed. spirit. They say broken hearted. Broken hearted. And God is not talking about repentance over here. He is. That if you have a broken heart, mm. then God is near to Hallelujah. you. God is near Very to true. those who are crushed in the spirit. Amen. God is near to Amen. those who are broken hearted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. God is near to them. Oh, yes, He is. So if you are not crushed in the spirit. Mm -hmm. It means that God does not, he, he, he doesn't come near you. Mm -hmm. And therefore, what you are expecting from God, mm -hmm. it is very difficult for you to get it. My Lord. Let us start learning what Bible is saying. Very true. And stop noise, no, noise and all that. Yes. Preaching that will make people clap their hearts and laugh. Mm -hmm. They are all good. Mm -hmm. But let us start the basis. Very true. Very important because yes. if we don't start here, That's right. we may go wrong. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You go wrong. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let me defy repentance. Okay. Repentance means turning from sin to God. That's right. Very simple. Yes. Repentance means turning from sin to God. Amen. You see, sometimes it involves it involves regretting of what you have done. That's right. Regretting for your sins. Yes. If it does sometimes, not all regrets will mean that you have repented, mm. but element of regret mm -hmm. is identified that's, in repentance. That's right. Again, it will mean change of mind. Mm -hmm. Change of mind. Change of you mind. are changing your mind from your evil ways, your sinful ways, and turn to God Almighty. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to state this, that the... The reason why a man has to repent is that we have rejected God. Mm. We have rejected Jesus Christ. You see, God has sent his son onto this world mm. to save humanity. Mm. And Jesus came mm. to do whatever he, he had to do for humanity. Mm. And, mm. and at the end, he died for us. Amen. Mm. So, Hallelujah. The Lord is saying that mm. this is my son. My Lord. He has come, he has come to show you the way to me. Mm -hmm. So accept him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the greatest sin, mm. the greatest sin mm. is mass rejection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Very true. Very true. It's mass rejection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Very true. That's the reason why mm. all the things man is doing mm -hmm. is doing. That's the reason why whatever we are doing, mm. we don't care and we don't value. My Lord. Because we have rejected Jesus Christ. My Lord. <coughs> so now, mm. as soon as we reject Jesus Christ, mm. what happened is that. So many things yeah. come in come in place. So many things come in place. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. You see people behaving the way they should behave because Christ mm. has been rejected. Amen. Christ has been rejected. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So, <coughs> the first step mm. for us to get salvation mm. is to repent. Repent. Is to repent. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, anybody who wants to <coughs> come to Christ, mm. first you must repent. Must repent. You must repent. Amen. And the certain is that the certain is that many people, as I said already, <coughs> go to church all right, but they are past behavior. My Lord. And their past attitude mm. Mm. are still the same. They are still the same. Mm. That's very sad thing. Our past attitude are still the same. Mm. And we pray that through this preaching, people will hear us and change in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What the church is missing out is repentance. Repentance. Yes. What the church is missing out mm. is repentance. Amen. Because you don't even hear people preaching about repentance anymore. My Lord. You don't even hear our old fellow pastors preaching about repentance anymore. My Lord. <clears throat> so, we have come with this message by God's grace that we will repent from our sins and come back to God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. <clears throat> and today, you see in the church, the world is now in the church. Very true. Very true. We have brought world, mm. the world in the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But our duty is that mm. we must allow the church to change the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. We must allow the world to change the world, mm -hmm. the, the church to change the world. But we are not doing that. We pray that the Holy Spirit will help us. Amen. To to, to come out to Christ so that we become a new person, new creation in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, <clears throat> what the world needs now is repentance. Repentance. What the world needs now is mm. repentance. Mm. Yes. What the world needs now is repentance. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this um, COVID-19. Mm. Now look at it. Now it is sweeping, it is sweeping across the whole world. And now we understand that it is pandemic. Yesterday, alone you can hear, we had 200 cases. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what is happening today, but as of yesterday, we almost 800. Almost 800. I don't know the records today, I don't know. But we are most 800. Mm. But there are most in the system. Apparently 10,000 undeclared. Undeclared? Yeah. Uh -huh. Undeclared, 10,000 mm. undeclared. Mm -hmm. So they are now working towards that. Mm -hmm. To be sure of the actual number. Mm -hmm. Now look at this. Mm. Now <coughs> people are preparing. Mm. People go to shopping to buy bulk, uh, food in bulk. bulk. You know, to save it. Mm. In case something happens, mm -hmm. schools are being, being closed down okay. day in, day out. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and what we are hearing is that time is coming. If it increases, mm. then people will be working from home. Very true. We don't know our faith. Yeah, my Lord. You see, mm. things are going bad. Very bad. But I think that we have Jesus. Hallelujah. And when you read Colossians chapter 3, verse 3, mm -hmm. Bible says that. <laughs> Our life mm -hmm. is hidden with Christ right. in God. Amen. That is our consolation. Amen. 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 Our life is hidden with Christ Amen. in God. Amen. So the children of God will not have to be afraid mm -hmm. at all. At all. <clears throat> but the thing is that you must do the right thing. Absolutely. We are teaching the right thing. Yes. In fact, when you look at Egypt, when the children of Israel were there, mm -hmm. and when they were coming out mm -hmm. at the last Passover, mm -hmm. Mm. The the angel the, the the people put their blood of goat over their doorposts and all that. Okay. So the death angel crossover. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We also have the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pastor, we also have the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the blood of Jesus Amen. is available for us. Amen. Amen. And very powerful. Hallelujah. To cleanse every virus in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may touch the virus. Yes. You may you may travel with a, a, a person carrying a virus yes, in the train, in the bus, everywhere. Everywhere. But in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. you shall never be affected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Right here must be done. Mm. Hallelujah. Repentance means that turning from your sins mm. to God. Amen. And if you're able to do that, mm. no understand that your life is hidden with Christ. Hallelujah. I am God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our pastor, our life mm. is hidden with Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I, I also in God. in God. So anybody who is seeking our life, mm. the person has to kill Jesus Christ <laughs> and kill God before he can gather because we are hidden. In them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My soul, my spirit mm. is hidden with Christ. Amen. I also in God. Hallelujah. We are covered double double. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Pastor, we are covered double double. Double. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, if my audience will listen to me, mm. the first. Mm. It's genuine repentance. Genuine repentance. Don't let us mm. deceive ourselves. So true. For for the fact that you go to church mm. Mm. and therefore you're a Christian, mm. you know, for the fact that we are doing something, mm -hmm. repentance the key. Mm -hmm. And mm. I want to take my time and explain it. Go ahead. Next week we will continue. Okay. Maybe you have about part three also. Okay. All about repentance, All repentance. because it's very important. Very important. Now. I am going to talk about what repentance um, is not. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. What repentance is not. Mm -hmm. Now, number one, mm -hmm. repentance is not just feeling guilty. Right. Sometimes guilty mm -hmm. comes in when you want to repent. Right. But the guilty is said that don't mean that you have repented. That's right. That's right. Let's support him by Acts chapter. Mm. Yes, Acts chapter 24. Okay. Let's see Acts chapter 24. We always want to uh, take you through the scriptures for you to know that what we are saying over here mm -hmm. is not man made. Amen. Yes. But it is being led by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Acts 24, verse 24. Acts 24, 24. Uh -huh. And after some days, when Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, yeah. who was Jewish, mm -hmm. he sent for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, as he reasoned about righteousness, self-control, uh -huh. and the judgment to come, yeah. Felix was afraid and answered, uh -huh. go away uh -huh. for now. Uh -huh. When I have a convenient time, uh -huh. I will call for you. Amen. Amen. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, Felix, Felix was a governor. Mm -hmm. Was a governor of mm -hmm. Judea. Oh, my Lord. And when Paul was arrested, mm -hmm. after taking through all the places, mm -hmm. finally, he was landed mm -hmm. before Felix. Mm -hmm. And then Felix came with a wife. Mm -hmm. And he came to listen to what Paul had, mm -hmm. had for him. Mm -hmm. So Paul was, exhort, was exhorting him, mm -hmm. was exposing the word of God mm -hmm. about righteousness mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and self-control. Hallelujah. Philip was also a, a, a corrupt person. Mm -hmm. He's a, a corrupt governor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he could not stand what Paul was, was preaching about. Mm -hmm. So he said, stop, stop, stop. He was afraid. Mm -hmm. So his guilt, mm -hmm. he was he was hidden. He was condemned by his Paul guilt. Amen, amen, amen. But what did he say? Mm -hmm. He said, stop. stop. Go away, stop. Mm -hmm. Later I'll call you. Mm -hmm. Because you know that he, he, he knew that what Paul was saying was true. And was hitting him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But he never changed. My Lord. He never repented. My Lord, my Lord. That is why I'm saying that mm. guilt 
Get, being guilty mm. is not a repentance. No, it isn't. It isn't. You can do something and feel guilty. Yes. But does it mean that you have repented? No, not at all. Yes, mm. you have not repented. Mm. Mm. So that somebody can even shed tears. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at these people. These are these boys and girls thing, you know. Sometimes a girl, a boy will impregnate a, a lady, knowing that maybe they will be married or something like that. But later on, the girl will see that, oh, my friend, I can't marry you, so go and bought. They will do this, go and bought. And in, in, in the process, mm. sometimes there's a loss of life. My Lord. Mm. I believe that the man or the guy who is involved will feel guilty. But give, give him two weeks. Mm. Give him three weeks. Mm. You will see him jumping from it again. Yes, of course. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, so we can, we can say about so many examples. Mm. So guilty yourself. If you go to church because of a guilty, mm. it doesn't mean that you have repented. No. General repentance is telling for your sin That's to God. Amen. Amen. So if you are guilty, mm. then you are guilty must lead you to God. My Lord. If the guilty doesn't lead you to God, then you are not repented. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor, do you understand what I mean? Of course. Of yes. Course I do. I do. So, repentance is not just feeling guilty. Mm. Number two, repentance is not just being sorry mm. for your sin. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Being sorry mm -hmm. is part of repentance. Yes. But sometimes sorry is not repentance. It's not. No. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 7, verse 10. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. For godly sorrow produces repentance. Good. Leading to salvation. That's right. Not to be regretted, mm -hmm. but the sorrow of the world produces death. That's it. Mm-hmm. So godless sorrow mm -hmm. produces repentance. That's right. Genuinely. Mm -hmm. Because you feel it. Mm -hmm. You know you are so sorry. That's right. What you have done is, is wrong, was wrong. Hallelujah. So you are sorry for doing that. That's right. So you come before the Lord with all humility. That's right. Say, Lord, I am sorry. I am sorry. I am not going to do that. So forgive me. Forgive I, me. And then take me as your son. That's right. You see, so mm. what you have done mm -hmm. has led you to God. Hallelujah. That is good. Amen. But the second part says that mm. when the sorrow mm. produces when the sorrow brings death. My Lord. It means that even though you are sorry, mm. you didn't change. When we say death, let us understand that death means separation. That's right. That's right. Whether mm. physical or spiritual, death means separation. Mm -hmm. If somebody dies, it means that the soul is gone, That's separated right. from the body. That's right. The soul is separated from the body, That's so right. you are gone. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. The spiritual death that mm. is coming mm. upon humanity yes. also means separation. Mm. Because you will be separated from God. Hell is there That's and the right. heaven is there. That's so right. those who will enter hell are dead. Amen. Because you have been separated from your creator. Mm -hmm. So death means separation. That's so right. there are certain sorrow mm -hmm. that separates man Hallelujah. from God. Amen. Amen. Sorrow. That sorrow is a wellness sorrow. That's right. It separates man yes. from his creator. Yes. Yes. But the godly one. Yes. You know, lead to repentance yes. and then unto salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are hearing me, the point I am making is that we want genuine repentance. Hallelujah. The church is there for everybody. The church is there for every sinner. Amen. But as soon as you enter the church, your life must change. You must repent for the Amen. sins. Amen. And then come back to God in the name of Jesus. Amen. You don't live there and continue sinning. Very true. It will help you. No, it won't. Otherwise, all the divine provisions, mm. you miss them. Amen. You will struggle. Amen. And that is why people belong to church. Yet, they seek other sources, mm. sorceries. And then, you know, uh, uh, adults, priests, and all that for heaven support. While Jesus is near you, Hallelujah. 
Psalm 34 verse 18 says, God is near to Amen. those who heart has broken. Hallelujah. God is near to us. Amen. He is. Yes. God is near to us more than you, more than you yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he wants to stay in you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are preaching about genuine repentance. Genuine repentance. And this is what will help you. Mm. And this is what will help the world. Because we have left repentance, mm. now we, we have brought problem upon our lives. Mm. Look at what we are going through. My Lord. Look at all that we are going through in the world. Mm, mm, mm. And then this world belongs to God. Mm. And if God allows this to happen to us, that means that God is angry. Yes. God is not happy with the way we are living. My Lord. He's not happy at all. Mm. Because of our life. Yes, yes. Sinful will. We enjoy in sin. We are happy in sin. Oh dear. We, 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 we. We don't mind anything. Mm. Our minds are sealed, mm. closed. Mm. Mm. About repentance, about Jesus, about God. Mm. And people will say all oh, manner of things against Jesus Christ. My Lord. His son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Against men of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people will be right off every church. Right off every pastor. Right off every prophet. That nothing is good anymore. And therefore let us live anyhow. These are all devilish you know, suggestions mm. and opinions. Mm. Mm. We don't have to listen to them. No. My brother, my, my, those who are listening to me, mm. I am telling you this after that, repent for your sins. Amen. And turn to God through our Lord yes. Jesus Christ. Amen. And you, you, and you receive remission of our sins. Amen. You feel, and uh, 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 you be at peace. Peace will come upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The third point is that repentance is not just trying to be a good person. Repentance is not trying to be a good person. It's not. In Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, Bible says that even our 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 goodness is like a fainty rags. My Lord. Isaiah 64, verse 6. It's not trying to be good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Repentance is not. Isaiah 64, 6. Yeah, Isaiah 64, verse 6. But we are all like an unclean thing. Ah, uh, yes, unclean thing, huh? And all our righteousness yeah. are like filthy rags. Like filthy rags, that's right. We all fade as a leaf, uh -huh. and our iniquities like the wind. That's right. That has taken us away. Taken us away. Our iniquity. Hallelujah. You see? So if <clears throat> it's good, it's good to be to be to, to do good. Of course. But the goodness itself is not repentance. It's not. If you buy a if you buy a car for somebody, mm. you have done what, what is good. Mm. If you buy a house for somebody, mm. that is fine. If you help someone to find a job, mm. that is good. Yeah. If you see a beggar on the roadside yeah. and he or she begs you. A beggar begs you for money. Mm. You give it to him or her. Mm. You are that one to go back. That is not leading to heaven. No, it's not. It is not no. leading you to heaven. Mm. You do good. That is good. It's, it's good to you as a humanity. Yeah. But Bible says, repent. God is close to those who have repented. Because Amen. your repentance is leading to God. Hallelujah. And allow God mm. to stay in you. Amen. Allow God to be in you. Amen. Allow God to possess your life Amen. and to lead you Amen. and to and to show you the way forward. Very true. Very true. So that you can fulfill the divine mandate here on this earth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So don't say that because you are you're a good person and because of that you are okay. Mm. Look, Bible says that our our goodness is like a filthy Very rags. True. Yeah, filthy rags. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you should not do good. No. But God is saying that do the most important thing first. That's right. When you get repented mm. and then you are doing something good, then it is something that is added up mm. to your treasure Hallelujah. in heaven. Amen. Then you are building up your treasures of course. in heaven. Amen. Then you are doing that in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The fourth one is that repentance is not 
Be religious. I like that one. Pastor, it is not being religious. It's not. You know, mm. somebody can be a chorister, but he, 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 he hasn't repented. Can be a chorister leading the choir. Mm. In the church, we have had so many stories okay. about chorister okay. leading, you know, yeah. uh, leading a big um, 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 choir. Mm. And uh, what they know is that they jump from one lady to another lady, jump from another lady. So before the pastor realizes, you the, all, most of them, you know, pregnant and all that. Okay. In the house of God. My Lord. So, you are being a chorister, mm. head chorister, in not leading you anywhere. Mm. Taking position in the church. My Lord. It's good. Mm. You are having birth in God's church. Yeah. But are you repented? My Lord. Are you repented? Mm, mm, mm. You can go there to open even the church house. You can even hold the keys. Mm. But are you repented? My Lord. You can even become a driver, driving church members to vantage points, picking them to church and sending them back. Mm. The, the, the question is that, are you repented? My Lord. Are you doing that by your own strength? Mm. That's the most important thing, and that's why the Bible says that the time will come, he will tell people, I don't know you. Hallelujah. Because you have not repented. Hallelujah. Repentance is out in your life. Wow. Totally out. Then what are you doing? You are doing uh, with the power of the flesh. And that's the reason why you can't stay pure. In Matthew chapter 3. Matthew chapter 3. Hallelujah. There is a person there that's very important. Amen, amen. Matthew chapter 3 verse, verse 7. Matthew 3 verse 7. Matthew 3 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming uh -huh. to his baptism, he said to them, Broad of wipers, yes, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Wrath to come, my lord. Continue, uh, yeah, continue. Verse 8 uh -huh. Therefore, bear fruits worthy of repentance, yeah. Verse 9 And do not think to say yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God is able to raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Verse 10. And even now the axe is laid to the root uh -huh. of the trees. Yeah. Therefore every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, John the Baptist, mm. during his time was preaching about repentance. Yeah. And he directed his message to the religious leaders, mm -hmm. religious organization, mm -hmm. the Pharisees mm -hmm. and Sadducees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastor, you know, during the intertestamental period, okay. the Pharisees, mm -hmm. the Sadducees, mm -hmm. the Essenes, mm -hmm. and the Zealots, right. these are the four religious groups mm -hmm. in Israel. Right, right. These are the four, and they have different beliefs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But those closer to Christianity mm -hmm. um, uh, were the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were the Pharisees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, when you are talking about the Pharisees, mm -hmm. you are talking about people who know, who understand the scriptures. Very well. You are talking about people who interpret scriptures. Yes. You are talking about a group of mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. who also observe mm -hmm. Bible fully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They observe Bible fully, Pastor. Yes, yes, very good. Hello. 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 Uh, hi, yeah. Hi, hello, Pastor. Yeah, I was. Good afternoon. Yeah, I just want to thank you for the word. Amen. Uh, and uh, the good words that you do for God. Okay. Yeah. 
We can go so you know You're calling from where? What's your name, please? Pardon? What's your name, please? Sorry, Father Foster. I'm I'm saying your name, your name, and where you are calling from. Uh, sh sorry, Pastor, I can't hear you properly. You can't hear me properly. Yes, sir. I, I said, no, I can't. Uh, I'm saying what is your name and where are you calling from? Oh, uh, uh, Irish. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Irish. Oh, pleasure. Oh, okay. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Eh? Thank you for <laughs> thank you for calling. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Pastor. Okay. Uh. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Uh, bye. Bye. Amen. So, these, these Pharisees, these Pharisees, you know, mm -hmm. were people who knew, they, 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 they understand the scriptures. Very well. And they fully also obey um, the scriptures. Amen. But Jesus said something. Mm -hmm. If we are to enter into the kingdom of God by their practices, mm -hmm. Then you can have better for anyone to enter mm. kingdom. Jesus said that if our righteousness does not exceed that of Pharisees, mm. we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Very true. Very true. Very true. Have we seen that? Yes. But John the Baptist is saying that they must change. They must change. It means that even though they understand the scriptures, mm. even though they know the scriptures, mm. even though they interpret the scriptures, they fulfill uh, the law of Moses mm. that alone cannot send them to heaven no. to the kingdom of God. They must change. They must change. And one thing about the Pharisees is that when you, what, 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 when you read Matthew 23, verse 23, Jesus said that they tight every little thing. When you're talking about tithing, they are the best. As of now, every little thing. But Jesus said, said that that is good, mm. but you have left mercy, my Lord. justice, and faithfulness. My Lord, my Lord. So the thing is that mm. there were people who, who were not born again, so it was difficult for them to fulfill mm. things of the Spirit. Pastor, if you don't repent genuinely for the Holy Spirit to stay in you, mm. spiritual things mm. is going to be a problem. You're going to fight some difficulties. Of course, of course. Of course. Because you're going to be kind of person. Yes, yes. And that is why they look at mm. what is what is outside. Mm. You know, they look at yes. and whatever they do, mm. they walk in marketplaces yeah. to receive praises yes, and all that. Yes. You see the point? So yes, it, they're all worldly and fresh things. Yes, yes, yes. So being religious is not repentance. Oh, man. Hallelujah. Amen. Our phone line is now open. We have open our phone now, and it is um, 0203 735 8820. I repeat, our phone, our phone line is 0203 735 8820 and 0203 286 0185. You can call in and uh, make a comment yes. and ask uh, anything you want to ask. We are happy to support you. We are going to help in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Pastor, how do you see the how, how do you see this after message? What is your take, Amen. and what can you add to it? Amen. Yeah. You know, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. No man comes to the Father except through him. Except through him, And yeah. then, obviously, one of the verses that we've read, yeah. what you does know, that take? godly sorrow uh -huh. brings forth repentance. Godly sorrow brings forth repentance, okay. And my understanding of this from your message, which I do take wholeheartedly, you know, Man of God, everyone has to be aware of their of their conscience. Yeah. And what is conscience? Mm -hmm. You know, conscience tells us what is right and what is wrong. What 
to the right and what is wrong. Sure. Conscience convicts a person. Sure. The gospel convicts a person. Yeah. Like you said, what mm -hmm. repentance is not. It's not um, guilt. Guilt, guilt, yeah. guilt is a feeling. It's a feeling, yeah. Tearfulness yeah. is also a feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's very important, you know, that we don't see works, mm -hmm. the good deeds that you spoke about. Sure. Feeding the poor. Yeah. Supporting someone yeah. who's in need. Who's in need. Because works does not lead to repentance. Yeah. Um, but one of the greatest examples that I can use in terms of repentance mm -hmm. is that what would take a Pharisee mm. like the Apostle Paul uh -huh. on the road, on the road to, to apprehend God's people? That's right. And the Lord, what did the Lord do? Mm -hmm. Apprehended him. Sure. <laughs> and said, I have much things for you. That's right. And we can see from the life of the Apostle Paul mm -hmm. that he went on to do so much. Did so much. That it almost took Felix the governor. Yeah. He was so afraid of this gospel that the Apostle Paul <laughs> carried. He said, wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know? And yeah. Pastor, I can attest to that. When I was in India, mm. um, a gentleman who was taking um, our bags. Oh, I've been in India before. Oh, I went to India, man of God. Oh, I, right. good, good. I went to Mother Teresa's orphanage, you oh, know. Okay. So, and um, he said to us, he, they have so many gods. Mm. I said, what sort of gods do you have? have. Mm. And he said, God of power, uh -huh. God for the money, uh -huh. God for wealth, God for family, God for marriage. He said he has five gods. Five gods. So I said, let me tell you about my God. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and man of God, yeah. he said, no, 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 no. I don't want to hear about your <laughs> God. <laughs> so, Pastor... The word of God is powerful. It is powerful. It will bring forth that godly sorrow, yeah. that turning around. Yeah. You it will see like, fruit. Yeah. Because if those fruits mm -hmm. are not exquisite, man of God, mm -hmm. what 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 again? And what again? That's the thing. What again? And you know the reason why we are not seeing much fruit is that. Um, many people have not started well. Mm. You know, they, you know, so we are talking about general repentance. Yes. They, you know, it is a good start. It is a good start for the Christianity. Very true. And that's the key thing God has given to mm. us. Mm. And when you start well, yes. that, then, you know, you, you progress Amen. and then you move on. Amen. But many people are in the church mm. and they call themselves Christians. Mm. Mm. While general repentance mm. you know has not occurred in their life my lord has not occurred wow. in life wow. either they follow their mother to church yes they follow their husband to church yeah they follow their friends to church yeah but we are talking about the process of um free, process of you know change that's right process of you know mm. seeing our guilt and mm. being sorry that's right that's and right. seeing jesus that's right as a solution that's right at that, at that particular moment right i, I know it's like you know it's like spiritually mm. meeting meeting jesus right face to face face to face that's right you know it's that's a you meet him, and that's, that's where right. the water starts yes. and many people have not have not got that to that stage Right. And therefore, mm. they are in the church all right. That's right. But their behavior mm. they, is not changing. My Lord. It's not changing. So the church, the church has a duty. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yes. Of the course. church has a duty mm. to preach this mm. basis. Very true. For the people to understand. Right. Very, very so true. So that change will come to their life. Amen. Otherwise, we will miss so many people. Mm. Very, we will miss so true. many people. Very true. We will miss so many people. You know, like you said, man of God, you know, that. The wording is very important. Mm -hmm. You know, what a person is being taught. Yes. Because if you really understand the death of Jesus Christ. Sure. Knowing that, you know, a great price and a ransom mm. was paid for you. For paid for you. And you place your entire faith uh -huh. inside the cross of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Inside the blood of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Man of God, I can assure you that 
that individual cannot be the same. Yes, it cannot be the same. Because there's power. There's a power. In the blood of Jesus Christ. In the blood Christ. of Jesus. In the blood, yes. You sure. know, and you've now come out of darkness. Yeah. From that world, yes, entered into Christ Jesus, yeah, man of God. How can you how can you have an encounter with Jesus, with God, mm -hmm. God who's holy, yeah, God who's eternal, yes, and be the same, yeah. It does not equate. Yeah, yeah, sure. That, that, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's the point. That's the point. So it is our prayer that um, as we preach the word. Mm. God will touch hearts. Amen. And God will touch lives. Yes. That people will know the truth. Amen. The, the truth. Amen. And when you look at somebody, there's uh, something going on. This uh, coronavirus, mm. you know, right. it has shaken the world. Shaken. Shaken, really mm. shaken the mm. world. Mm. Mm. And the way uh, the world is mm. preparing for uh, this virus. Mm. It is not the it's not the same way we are preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. No, no, no. <laughs> it is not. No, because heaven is prepared for us. Yes. You know, they're trying to prepare a vaccine. Yeah. You know. Yes. To cure this. To cure. But now yeah. you you would have said with these scientists, how many um, pneumonias and influences uh -huh. that people have had over yeah. the years? Because yes. every year. You get a flu jab. You get a flu so jab. every year that's a new vaccine. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So now they're saying coronavirus, it's something new. There's no vaccine. Uh -huh. But Pastor, this word is prepared. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And Jesus is coming, man of God. You spoke coming. about the rapture last week. Yeah, last week. Heaven about is prepared, week. waiting for us. Waiting for us. Waiting for the saints. Amen. Waiting for the saints. Mm. Very important. So we are blessed. And if you know this secret, you wouldn't have any problem. Hallelujah. You don't have any problem. Because Amen. if this it doesn't happen, even though uh, uh, people are at risk, but over, if you have Jesus, you are at peace. You have everything. You are. You, you, know, that you, you know that your home Glory. is cured. Amen. Your home is secure. Hallelujah. Your home Hallelujah. is protected. Hallelujah. Jesus himself is there. Amen. And just are there with you. Hallelujah. So you don't fear of all these things. Amen. Even though we are not saying that you should not protect yourself. Oh, no. We are not saying that you should not go to, go to house. No, you have to. We are not to. saying that you don't have to, you know, uh, prepare for this. Yes. But you you can you, you, you are preparing for it, but mm. we are saying that our hope is in God. Amen. Man of God, in your opening of your discourse, yeah. you mentioned about the children of Israel sure. when they were in Egyptian bondage. Yeah. You said the Lord said to them uh -huh. to put the blood on their doorposts. Doorposts, yes. That they followed the instructions they did, they did. You know, of the Lord. Yeah. And no plague. No plague. You know that. Um, the Passover that yeah. struck yeah. the firstborn Shut. of the Egyptian ah. male. Man of God, it did not come to the children of Israel because they followed instructions. They follow instructions. Man of God, we will follow instructions, Amen. we will wash our hands, we yeah. will take the necessary precautions. Yeah. But all of our faith is placed inside of this word, man yeah, of God. That's right. Amen. Yeah, that's it. It is, it's as simple as that. And we pray that our audience will understand that. Amen. And we pray that the world will understand this. Hallelujah. Because um, you can do whatever you want to do. Mm. But the word is supreme. Hallelujah. There's no error at all. No. Whatever God has said will mm. come to pass. Amen. And that's why we have that reliance Hallelujah. and dependence Amen. upon his word. Amen. And that's why we have our confidence from Amen. to preach his word. Amen. Because we have seen God. Oh, yes. We have seen Jesus. Amen. And we know that what he has said is true. My Lord. And so he will come. Amen. He will come. Hallelujah. And if he comes mm. and then, you know, people are not prepared, what will happen? My Lord. You know, we are thinking of all these things. Oh, yes. And that is why we are allowing God to use us mm. to create awareness. Amen. That just as we are preparing for coronavirus, yes. we must also prepare for the coming of our Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it just starts with genuine repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't go to church mm. just by going to church. My Lord. Just by belong to a certain denomination That's right. or a certain church. Amen. It will never help you. Amen. Repent mm. so that whatever you are. Mm. Jesus is not coming to take any one particular church away. No. No. 
He said the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Whatever you are, the Amen. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. He is coming for the body of Christ. Body of Christ. So whatever you are, mm. if you are a member of the body of Christ, Hallelujah. then you shall be part of the rapture. Amen. And the general repentance, the general repentance mm. is the is the is the starting point. Very true. Very, it very true. It is the starting point. Very, very true. It is the starting point. Very true. But our number, as I said, is um, you can you can you can call us um, 0203 yes. 735 8280 oh, or 0203 286 yes. 0185. Yes. My number is 078 306 2228. I repeat 078 306 2228. Even after the program, yes. if you want to contact me, Amen. I'm always available. Uh, we can talk, we can chat, yes. and you can, you know, if you want to uh, get in the direction, in the prayer. Yes. Uh, we are available. We are, mm. we are prepared to support and help uh, in the name of Jesus. We have time for uh, our people. Amen. Uh, we have time for, for, for everybody. Mm. So you can, you, can, you can call and then you can talk in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Pastor, can we talk about our church programs? few programs coming yes. up. Yes, yes. Next week. Next week. Tomorrow's week, right? Yes. A week Tomorrow's away. Week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We have our Mother's Day and Friends Day service. Mother's Day and Friends Day service. Yeah, which is mm. an awesome service in the life of Crossway Revival Baptist sure, Church. Sure, sure, you sure. You know, people of God, we only have one mom. Some of us have extended mothers, mm -hmm. you know, and I say to you, you know, if you would like to take your mom somewhere special, mm -hmm. you know, the most special place you can take your mom is to the house of the Lord, to, yeah. you know, where you can honor your mom. You know, like I said last week, women have made incomparable contributions reshaping, you know, the world through yeah. the help of the Holy Spirit. Sure. You know, and friends are very important. Mm -hmm. You know, scripture says a friend is better than a brother. Yeah. You know, which way, you know, you mm -hmm. can show your friend that you care, you support, That's right. you know, and you're pleased that, you know, these persons are in your life, mm -hmm. uh, you know, by bringing them to the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So Pastor and I and the entire membership of Crossway Revival Baptist Church yeah. welcome you to come and be a part uh, mm -hmm. of this special service next Sunday. Yeah. And we're based at Troy Hall, Niger Road, uh, mm -hmm. which is in the Southwark Borough in Peckham Rye. Yeah. And we're very strategic. Mm -hmm. um, we're easy to get to. If you're coming from um, Oxford Circus, you can get mm -hmm. bus number 12 yeah. straight outside of our premises. You'll alight at Niger Road. Uh, and we're a few yards away. Mm -hmm. If you're coming in from Allgate, you can take bus number 78. Yeah. If you're coming in from Croydon, you can take 197 to mm -hmm. the premises. Yeah. If you coming in from the neighboring um, Catford and Lewisham, yeah. all those areas do take the overhead get off at Peckham Rye Station, so and there you will find our premises. Uh -huh. So I say to you, you are welcome to our ministry. Call the man of God on his cell number, and he will speak with you. And any request, the man of God will be able to give you support. Uh, people of God, this is the end time. We don't know the hour that the Son of Man will come. Mm -hmm. So I say to you, if you're looking for family, church, Crossway Revival Baptist Church yeah. is here. You're very, very much welcome. God bless you. Amen. We want to acknowledge our friends here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, thank you. We have Frank Morris Kwanza. Uh, may God bless you. Okay. We have David Mensa Bisa. Uh, thank you very much. Nana Ajoa, Boafoa, Van Dyke. God bless you. Kofi Adu. Thank you very much for your comments and watching. Augustine, uh, Augustine uh, Boadji. Boadji. May God bless you. David Mensa. Yeah, thank you very much. And then Messi Scott Jeffrey. May God bless you. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, we are so, we are so, so, so happy for. 
uh, your support and your uh, comments. And God bless you. Always listen to us. But this time, every Saturday from 4 to 5, one hour program, we are coming to you with good word. Yes. Very powerful word. Mm. A word that will change your life. Hallelujah. We are not looking at anything at all. Mm. Our main focus is your soul. Amen. That your soul will be saved Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. I've already given out my number. And my number is 0783036. Two 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 eight. Please do call. I'm available. And just as Pastor has said, tomorrow we our service starts at ten thirty. We are we are we are welcoming everybody, and uh, make sure you be one of them to, to surprise to surprise us tomorrow. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you, Pastor. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us. Mm. Amen. Let us pray. Father Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. Amen. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for the word that has come forth from glory. Amen. Father Lord, true repentance. Yeah. Uh, Father Lord, it is only your way, your truth, your life, Father Lord, Amen. that one can enter into the kingdom through your son, Christ Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, our prayer this evening, mm. Father Lord, that those that have heard the word in Radio Land, yeah. we thank you for the souls that have been saved, Amen. the souls that have said, I will take Jesus yeah. as my Lord and personal Savior. Amen. Father Lord, and we ask that you seal this program mm. in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. and we thank you for the hope that you've given to your children yes. tuned into this evangelism broadcasting service yes. this evening. Amen. We say thank you Lord. Amen. 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 We thank God.